you think this would be the perfect place to bring great artists and an audience together. The White Pine Festival is an interdisciplinary arts festival of really high quality arts within the stunningly beautiful St. Croix Valley. It's profound but not pretentious. And I think those two words best describe what we're trying to do. We're trying to put together great artists with people who love great art and great ideas. The St. Croix Valley really benefits from the White Pine Festival because this is something that brings truly excellent artists and thinkers and musicians and scholars to the St. Croix Valley for a week of collaboration across disciplines with all sorts of people. These people will be residing right here in the valley and uh, residents will see them on the streets and we'll be talking with them at our post-concert events, our lectures during the day. We have small intimate uh, conversations by the river. It's really to uh, immerse them within the St. Croix Valley itself. One of the things about the festival is that all of our venues are within walking distance of the St. Croix River. It's that river, that shared river that unites Stillwater and Hudson and all the communities along the river. And we think that is something that's truly unique that we're going to bring to this White Pine Festival. tears eating the day like silkworms eating mulberry leaves in the tank near your classroom desk. Here is your sadness that your dad will be alone. One thing that I would say to, to, to further my side of the argument with you would say that when you have a whole lot of adjectives lined up like, like he does in his poem after each other, that is, that is a, 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 an act of ecstatic uh, language making. You know? And never wanting to be bored, D, defiant, some call it stubborn. <laughs> yelling from the inside, I call it poetry. A universe that worked on perfect ratios. What better way to discover what, what sublime is than a canon? The St. Petersburg String Quartet, internationally known string quartet, playing some specialties of theirs, Prokofiev String Quartet, Russian music, and then going to Schubert Death and the Maiden, which is just flat out beautiful and moving. We have to look deep to his music to, to find some secret words from the Schuster Courage. Made the flop useless on the cocoa floor. The one my grandfather... Roger Bonaire-Agard is from New York City. He's the two-time national slam champion poet. It's how we learn to move. Slow figure eight from the waist down. Put the heartbeat into the grind and the juve and the dimash gras. We learn to move like sand. This is really interesting, not just in terms of the fact that they're on equal footing, but that the fact that um, you know, collaboration is expected. Uh, collaboration and the results of that collaboration are expected before the end of the festival. So, but that's also what's good about collaboration, period. You know, we, of course, I start writing my poem. I'm not exactly sure where it's going to go when I start. Um, but you're even less sure when you get together with somebody in a completely other discipline. You know? and that's, that, but that's part of the journey. That's part of the fun. You know? because you're sure to trip up a little bit along the way and that's you know but that's part of it you know what i mean you you start with this piece you trip up you know you come back and and eventually magic happens when i made up the title for the for, for, for the talk um, the umpa and the ingenue you know, tony hoagland is a contemporary poet who has a great following but i think he's almost a, a humorist 
first and a witty poet second. But along with the humor and the wit comes that amazing ability to slip in the moment of human insight. There are a number of dimensions um, to it that are um, satisfying, make it a satisfying place to be. One is that it's bringing poetry and music to people who are outside of cultural centers, you know, who are, you know, who are not academics and not professional culturati. You know, it's, it's a very rich idea and, uh, and uh, you know, a rich concept to bring together language artists and musical artists. And there are a lot of uh, important and interesting ways in which it could develop. And all, that all poems have to have an undertow of, of appeal, a kind of, a kind of deep, a deep appeal that they're making to us. When we engage these ancient forms, we are drawing on our collective memory, you know, of, 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 of these ceremonies of speech. And in this case, the ceremony of speech would be, you know, the address to God.